Yeah, I was standard. My agent sends me lots of scripts. Um, I read very few good scripts. Yeah. And this was a good script, a remarkably good script. Just really rare. And uh, yeah, I read the book, and then I went and met Greg and auditioned for him. It was, it was kind of what's the normal way of getting involved with the movie. Yeah, yeah. It was sent to me um, through Jeff Levy Hinty, who um, produced a film I did a couple years back called Thirteen, and um, and then uh, so Jeff. They were Jeff knew they were kind of casting for this, and um, he and he sent me the script. I'd, I'd already read the book previously, but um, um, but anyway, it was uh, so yeah. That's kind of how I came into it, and then I ultimately just went and read with Greg. Well, in most scripts, in the first scene, you meet the hero. And then the hero goes along his journey and whatever meets a girl, kills a bad guy, and and that's the movie. And uh, this script has got this this dual story going where you've got you know two characters going along who whose paths eventually intertwine. But I don't know any other movie that that works quite like that. And when you hear it described. <clears throat> You might think like, oh, that sounds weird. Is it one of those kind of arty movies? Or is it one of those experimental yeah. thing? And it, but it doesn't read like the script didn't read like that, and the movie doesn't seem like that. It seems like you're just watching a movie, and uh, when the two characters that haven't met until the end finally meet, I know the first time I saw the movie, I was like, oh wow, yeah, there hasn't even been a scene between us yet, and I really like it. It's special. It's yeah. Well, it's it's a remarkably good adaptation. It's kind of like, in having read the book, it was, I was kind of nervous actually yeah, to pick yeah. it up and read it, and hoping that I was like, great, what do they do? Rape his corpse? You know, is it terrible? And, um, and it's, uh, it's, uh, rape his corpse. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and and but because Scott just has the most beautiful prose and oh, Scott's just, corpse. Yeah, yeah, Scott's corpse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, um, so I was, I was concerned, um, and I read it, and Greg <laughs> just r adapted it with so much passion, um, and and it was so uh, intricate and particular and specific, and um, it just got me excited. And so, uh, um, so so anyway, yeah, I mean, it's it's a it's a beautiful story, and uh, I think the dual storyline is kind of beautifully pulled off by by what. Uh, Greg, um, by this, you know, what Greg did with the structure of it. Generally, if you want, like, you want to build up a rapport with the other yeah. actors, this one, you know, wasn't really the case. And we saw each other in passing, um, on the set and stuff, and kind of a oh, hello and hello, and but nothing, uh, nothing major at all. And it wasn't until we did uh, that, you know, the the last scene, or at least uh, certainly the first scene that we meet, um, um, that uh, that we really spoke at all, um, or properly spoke anyway, had a decent conversation. Yeah, well, it was, it was interesting because I think that it was the first time we acted together, and so it was kind of like. There was something new to us. I mean, we'd already m seen each other and kind of met each and other. And we knew that we were both working on this movie. Yeah. And we yeah. knew what the other one was up to because we had read those scenes, yeah. but we hadn't been there for them. Right. So there was that mystery and, and excitement to it. Like, oh, oh, so that's him. Oh, that's that's how he's playing. Yeah. This it was, character. and it, it was really exciting because I was really, um, I I was. Uh, I was just really pleased to see that Joe was doing such kind of a wonderful job with it because it's um it's a complex no but it's a really complex performance and because it's a complex it's complexly written yeah. and um and it's hardly one note it could have seemed like this kind of um this kind of broken hustler you know but he's very charming and very and that was important so that everyone uh, understood why it is that everyone's so kind of attracted to him yeah yeah so, yeah, anyway.
it's, uh, I think it's kind of freeing. I mean, if if you have if you get to do something that is um, that especially if you get to play a character that is that was completely silent, for instance, um, I think that um, it frees you up to be uh, more spontaneous and not have to worry about getting the words out. Um, I mean. But I mean, obviously there is you know plenty of dialogue. It's just, uh, but you know, I just don't even know what to say. Um, I've been watching that. that. I've been watching a bit of silent movies recently. There's a whole different style of acting. Obviously, you yeah. don't have the words yeah. to act with. And what's cool about Mysterious Skin and the character I got to play, in terms of those silent movie actors, is you're right. Neil, the character I played, he doesn't talk too much. He he tells a lot of his story with his body and with his actions, but <clears throat> now it's 2004, so we can we can do some sexy stuff that the silent film actors wouldn't have been allowed yeah. to do. Yeah. And it's one of my favorite things about the sexy scenes in, in the movie is uh, a lot of sex scenes, they're just sex scenes. Yeah. And it's like, well, here's the story, and here's these two characters, and, oh, uh, okay, the movie will now have an intermission while we look at our two actors naked. Yeah. Bring in the slow motion, bring in the cheesy music. And the scenes in, in this movie... They're the opposite of that. They're, they're crucial story points, and the story advances within the scene, and there's beats and, and emotions, yeah. and, and it, it reminds me, it reminded me sometimes of that silent film acting where yeah. you have to hit the, the beats and tell the story with your body. Yeah, and a lot of people um, tell me that, uh, that I swallow my words in, in the movie, which, first of all, um, I met a guy in Kansas City who talks just like that, <laughs> and... Uh, you had to yeah. pay attention to understand what he was saying. But I also, I kind of like the fact that you can't exactly understand everything that he says because it's not so much about the words that he says. It's about what he's doing or yeah. how he looks or what, yeah, what his body's doing. I, I, I actually have really lovely memories of it, you know, I mean... Uh, even though it is, um, even though we were dealing with, uh, with, with subject matter that we all had to be kind of delicate with in light of the kind of potential darkness of the subject, um, we, we were all so passionate about it and loved it so much that we were just so pleased to be working on, on something we loved. Even on days where we were shooting really dramatic, heavy stuff, I mean, when when you're kind of immersed in that, of course, there's kind of a, a darkness to that afternoon or that day or that evening. Um, um, but but ultimately, when it's all done, it's just so invigorating to to just be be pleased with with everyone. And I just I I truly it was really a set of friends. Like it was just a, a set of of wonderful, talented, sweet people. The sweetest set I've ever been on. Right, right. And so um, it was um, it was a genuine pleasure.